Good morning all. It's Saturday morning. Can my glute muscle hold up for today's park run? Let's see. Right, morning all. Today I've took a short little drive down the uh, M20 from my house down to Maidstone and I'm doing the uh, the moat park park run this morning. Go. So as you, as you can see it's quite a, a large um, lake, boating lake here. So we're here in the car park and I believe the park run goes somewhere around somewhere around this route here. I think you do a couple of laps and an out and a back, I think. I'm not quite sure, but I'm sure we'll soon find out. So there's plenty of car parking here. If you do decide to um, check out this park run, if you're in the area, have a nice little warm up. See what I can see. So just have a little, uh, little jog round. Just to check the place out, I think I'm on the actual uh, course. I'm not sure if there's any grass parts. I'll have to ask someone. But I definitely don't think it's going to be trails today. There's a, a manor house. Don't really know the history behind it all. I'm not going to pretend to be a historian. But uh, maybe I'll put something up in the uh, description underneath the video regarding the history of the place rather than me pretend I know who to think on I don't but, uh, I should have researched it before I come out but last minute decision to be fair well, I was in a, what park one I was going to be doing but a nice house there some people doing their little uh, morning work out there there you go Moat's house construction began in 1793 it's a grade 2 listed Georgian mansion remains the main focal point of the park today. I know the um, Medway River runs through Maidstone, which runs to Rochester and then Rochester onto the Thames. But I'm not sure what actually this part, this part of the lake is called. Again, not done any research. Oh, the doggy there. Not done with research. Bit of a shock to the system. So it's a lot colder this morning. And what it's been of late, we've been up into double figures just recently. And now it's five or six, I think, which is not cold, cold, but it's still a shock. This is quite a fairly new park run. I think today is there number 81 today. So it's not, not been going that long. Find a loo quickly and then find out where we start. Half there for after if you fancy a slice of cake and a cup of coffee or tea. A massive play uh, area here. I can quickly film because there's no kids inside. But I uh, didn't have anything like this when I was a kid. And there's a massive climbing frame adventure playground over there by the looks. So plenty of toilets. So if I was doing a bog review, they're pretty impressive. Absolutely spotless, loads of cubicles if you need that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, pretty pretty large loose for a park run. Obviously it's not, park's not here just for the park run. I know that, it's anything thing to say, but yeah, pretty impressive loose. Right, as I thought, the uh, meeting point is just here. So a few people already arrived. So we must run along the edge of the lake. Finish funnel, start is just there, finish funnel here, token drop off just up there. Welcome to Park Park Run. Do we have any new runners here today, brand new to run? If so, please be hands up, congratulations, give a big round of applause to We've got to run past the house four times apparently, so we run out two laps past the house four times. 
I'm sure I'll work it out. Easy one, Bradley. Yeah. First time, past the house. So we've got two loops here. Full time, and then back down to where we started. turn point back there. I'm not quite sure whether we do this again. Pass the house. Oi, oi. Thank you. Last lap. Up the short lap. Pass the house one more time. And the next time it'll be straight down that way to finish line. A little bit tight on the paths. Uh, 200 meters I reckon, maybe less. Get in, hello, I'm the run director, not important. Thank you very much. Keep in line people, well done. Well done, great job, Cheers, fantastic. Thank you. 23rd, pleased with that. And I was confident enough with the with the glute to push it for the last little uh, 100 meters, which felt quite tough, but the glute seems to be holding up. So I can do a nice, uh, nice, a couple of laps to the park now. There's a warm down. Yeah, I mean, it's tough, a tough one, a little bit tight on the paths, but enjoyable, beautiful surroundings, brilliant marshalling and volunteer, that's really fantastic, as per usual. Good day at the office, yes, because so far, so far good. The glute has held out. So now a nice gentle jog around the park. Good thing is, is I'm always close to my car, so if I start feeling a little twinge or something I can just take it easy and walk back to the car pretty high up here in the park so you can see the house right over the back there where we ran past four times well I was just looking at this part of the course here I didn't realize what a climb this was you only had to do this once so you go out and back up and then you do the two loops past the house hence why you run past the house four times a little bit confusing to start off with but once you've done it once you've done one sort of lap then you get an idea what's going on so it's quite easy to work out it's a good part one i tell you it's a good test good way to test yourself How about any uh, fantastic times you're not going to get a quick time if you're after a pb but every course is different so next time i come here i'll be gauging it off the last time i've done this run it's a good thing, it's the thing about park runs. Every course is different. It's not a 5K time trial race as such because they vary so much, which makes them so unique. Well, just back in the nick of time, I uh, 
almost forgot about the 10 o'clock cut off with the parking I haven't paid so there's no one about in a minute so I've got a couple of minutes just to slip on my normal shoes I think I've got to keep my running kit on my tail I, I, that um I was really pleased with the uh part one uh, I'm not sure on my time yet uh, I was in really what I was more pleased about was my little jog warm down uh didn't really feel anything in the glute so I'm thinking so I've got seven miles now so I could really do a little run when I get home around the block just to make up a few miles uh, I'm not playing catch up it's just that it's something that I sort of plan to do anyway for the marathon train I just wanted to run this uh, slow slow pace running I'll uh, catch you all later for another uh, video on my marathon build up and uh, thanks for watching and if you're not subscribing please subscribe and follow my journey hopefully to the Brighton Marathon catch you all later folks thanks for watching <music>